good evening friends in this tutorial i want to show you how to set up custom fonts on on uh, your sql server query analyzers when you try to when you are trying to write some queries uh, when you connect to a sql server and 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 then connect to a database to write some queries uh, on your query analyzer at times uh, you wish if the size of the fonts and the style of the fonts could be changed uh, so uh, this is this the default uh, size and, and and the font style which is uh, available on query analyzers but at times you wish if you could just change it uh, to the different size uh, to do so uh, you go on tools and option you go on the fonts and the, and the colors and then you see the default si the file size and the style of the fonts available so let's just change the size and also the font style uh, okay and, and then set it uh, to okay now if you see the style of the fonts and, and the size is also changed for you uh, so that so it's it's kind of easier on your eyes uh, the next thing i wanted to show is when you are uh, trying to connect uh, when you're trying to connect on a database or, or, or a sql server uh, at times uh, developers uh, or, or the people who deploy to production find it difficult uh, and, and connect on some some other database by default and run the queries for instance when you're trying to run uh, your SQL server against my second instance and, and you connect by default uh, you are connected to master database how would we change this default database uh, to something which is more useful and, and makes sense to us so that any of the queries uh, we we fire against uh, by default gets doesn't get fired against the master database to do so just disconnect this uh, when at the time when you connect to the second instance just in, in the options connect instead of the database just give the database name you would want to connect and see okay the next time you open a query analyzer by default the first database that uh, that is opened against is, is the database that you have given in the settings the second thing that I want to sh share is uh, the third thing I mean I want to share is when you are trying to uh, work or deploy some code uh, or, or work against a production or, a de or development environment uh, at times I find I found developers uh, opening different instances of SQL Server uh, Management Studio that is SSMS uh, and then work on them I mean kind of two windows for instance uh, let me use Windows R and then say SSMS and open another instance of SSMS and then developers would, would treat this as a development environment and uh, the other one as a production environment but what I wanted to show here is is, is a is a better way uh, to remember when you're connected to production and when you're connected uh, to a different development environment that is when you are connecting say I consider this a server as my development server go to options use a custom color as a status bar and say a red for your production box and connect so the next time you open uh, you press you select your database and uh, say con control n control n is for a new query window a status bar comes on the bottom saying that you have been connected uh, or indicating you that you have been connected to a production environment uh, next is I segregate it saying my second instance as green to show that I have been connected and press control N you would see that I have been connected to a development environment so so this is uh, this was just a, a quick way a better way of uh, selecting your fonts setting your status uh, bar for you and then also setting your default database that you are working on i think these these things will be will make the life of the database developers a little easy thanks guys